There's also a plug-in hybrid version, which gives you more than 25 miles of all electric range. And finally, there's a pure electric version, which gives you about 110 miles of range, uh, putting it right in line with the Nissan LEAF, certainly the target for any EV in this class. One interesting thing about the hybrid and the plug-in hybrid is that they use a dual-clutch automatic transmission rather than the typical CVT that you find in this segment. So rather than a constant droning sound when you accelerate, you will get a sensation of running through the gears, which is going to feel more familiar to a lot of drivers. The other notable thing about the Ionic, from our point of view, is that it does not look at all like the new Prius. The latest Prius has a radical design, uh, polarizing, love it or hate it. If you're looking for something that's going to blend in a little more, look more like a regular car, but still give you a, a sense of forward-thinking technology, the Hyundai Ionic should hit the spot. The Ionic employs a familiar 1.6-liter gasoline four-cylinder engine. It's an engine that we've seen in plenty of Hyundai and Kia models over the years, and of course it's been optimized for hybrid and plug-in hybrid duty. Stepping inside the 2017 Hyundai Ionic, the overall look is, again, conventional, much like the exterior. So if you're looking to get hybrid, plug-in hybrid, or electric functionality in a more standard looking and feeling package, the Ionic is going to be right up your alley. Settling down into the driver's seat, we see Hyundai's standard infotainment screen in the center. But what's really notable here is what you find behind the steering wheel. It's a fully digital TFT instrument display and that gauge actually changes both color and appearance depending on what driving mode you're in so that's pretty cool. There again is Hyundai's touchscreen, one of the better ones at this price point, we have no complaints about that. And your standard technology hookups as well, USB, aux, and that's actually a wireless charging port down there if your phone is so equipped. Features in the Hyundai Ionic include Apple CarPlay, Android Auto for full smartphone integration, also get driver memory settings and heated front seats. So there's some nice luxury touches in this economy-sized hatchback. And in back, the Ionic doesn't provide acres of legroom, but it's not bad for a car of this size, and in terms of overall interior volume, you can expect just about what the Prius gives you. So if you've been inside a Prius, you'll have a good idea of what the Ionic provides in terms of space. Again, taking a look at that dashboard, you can see that it's a, it's a pretty straightforward look. So if you don't want to feel like you're driving a futuristic space pod thing, the Ionic does the job. Flip up the trunk lid of the Ionic hatchback and you've got a pretty small cargo area. You know, the battery pack back there cuts into cargo space and the Ionic is no different from other hybrids and EVs in this regard. But flip down those seats, you have 26 and a half cubic feet of cargo room. That doesn't sound like much, but keep in mind that it's a lot more than even the large...